Hello and welcome back and today I want to continue looking at mobile applications for NAS and today we are looking at QSync Pro. It is the follow up to QSync and is the mobile application that allows you to synchronize one or more folders and I do mean as many folders as you like from your mobile device with your NAS. Now QSync has been available as client devices for PC, Mac and mobile devices for a long time but QSync Pro is this new kind of reinvented user interface and keeping things simple while still giving you the option of all of the analytical stuff in the background. Is the app perfect? I'm afraid not. It's a couple of little improvements I would recommend, but for the most part, it is one of the easiest um, applications I've seen of its type for NAS, second only really to Synology's drive application, which I think is still pipping everyone's to the post. But with that in mind, let me show you why I actually genuinely like this app. And still, even then, it has things that other uh, NAS brands do not provide. So let's go into the app. I've already set up a connection between this NAS and my phone. And what I'm going to do once I've shown you a few things on this is I'm going to then remove this NAS and then go through the process of adding files and folders on the NAS just to show you how easy it is. But once you've set up some folders, I've paired up two folders here. This is the sort of thing you're going to see. So we've got two sets of transfers here readily available. And again, I'm synchronizing two folders here on my phone, AZ screen recorder and um, uh, an album on here that I put on there, the Streets of Rage Mega Drive soundtrack, because I'm super cool people. If we choose, you can go to the managed paired folders. So again, the top one there, this is the first pairing I've already created between uh, a folder on my phone and that of uh, the folder on the NAS. I just went for TV shows randomly. And again, you can change the synchronization if you want two-way, which is like a mirror between both of those folders. So they'll be near enough identical. I say near enough, they are identical in data. If you delete a file off one, it deletes it off the other. A one-way upload will allow you to upload files directly from uh, the Na uh, from your mobile to the NAS and therefore if you delete the files from your phone they won't disappear from the NAS and vice versa from the NAS at the bottom there. The options are that straightforward and if you want once that's done click apply and it will apply those settings. Same goes if you want to edit an existing one you can go ahead and pause edit uh, an existing pairing between QSync on your mobile device and NAS or go ahead and action a sync manually. Well, a lot of the standard options are actually quite impressive too. They're in the background and definitely a big step up over QSync, uh, the non-pro version that's come before, and I would say in compared to the desktop client apps we've seen as well. There's a lot of talk about the offline file access that we'll go through in a little while, but also you've got the background task that we've seen before. But what I really like is the smart delete center. Now, this is when files can uh, check to see if they can be deleted as well as um, copies are available outside of your device. Now there's pros and cons of course if you are synchronizing for example your main photo gallery on your phone and you enable smart delete so that your phone systematically deletes those files because they're backed up on the NAS that's a good thing but bear in mind if only one copy of that file exists on the NAS that is not a backup so there's pros and cons to that tool. Also, you can create a team managed folder using the desktop app uh, via QTS on your um, laptop. And if you go via a web browser, and if you've got multiple team members all working on the same drive and using lots of client devices, and a lot of them are Android, then you can use a team managed folder and this um, app together. Now, in the settings menu there, we can have a look at some of the stuff to do with the frequency of a lot of these files being backed up onto the NAS. Do you want them instantaneous? Do you want it every 15, 30, or 60 minutes or larger? Whether you want it to only happen on Wi-Fi, only happen with the devices on charge to stop it eating up all your space. And there's lots of space and capacity limitations as well, and lots of other bits and bobs there in the background as well as filters as well, which are always useful for those who want to make sure that only certain file types are being backed up. Once again, for example, if you are backing up uh, photos, but you don't want to back up uh, video files from your phone, you can always go ahead and add MP4, for example, in the case of my phone, and now it won't back up videos. It's only going to back up the photos from that gallery. 
lots of options as well with regards to preferences but a lot of these conflict policies the majority of which and uh, retention policies of files that are the same or similar are conducted a great deal better on the desktop side than the map the app but it still does a passable job there of letting you have some of the options with regards to what to do if files seem to be replicated at both directions now as you see we can run we can go ahead and run this back up here happening in the background between these two locations. I'm going to leave that running and it's going to start the quick sync between the mobile and the desktop there on these two paired folders. Now these are quite small folders so it's not going to be a vast amount of data so as you've seen it could be conducted pretty quick there. And if we go into the background tasks we're able to see a lot of those files being backed up there in the background from music locations that I've chosen to synchronize on both platforms they're all happening in real time if we go ahead and go back into the shared option so we go into that folder there we can look at um, adding to that folder adding files from within the UI and more and from there we're able to take a little look at some of the options on each of these folders we can adjust the quota remotely on each of these jobs if we choose and we can play around with a lot of the settings with regards to availability how we want it to be seen do we want it available online or offline um, and lots of stuff there there's lots of little customization options all built in which i'm quite a fan of overall now what we're going to do now is i'm going to show you um, the ability on these to add files and folders and how easy it is so what we're going to do is we're now going to remove this NAS. Uh, we can say we want to delete all the files, but we'll keep all the device files on this device for now. And we've removed this NAS. So now we're going into the app absolutely blank. This is going to be a straightforward setup. And what we're going to do on this phone today is on this phone, I have a myriad of photos. I have thousands upon thousands of photos on this phone. And much like Google Photos, I want to back these photos up to the NAS regularly. So I'm going to set up a synchronization, a one-way sync from this phone onto the NAS. Or I can do a two-way, but I'm going to go with a one-way sync for now and show you just how easy it is to have a regular synchronization of my photo album between this phone and the NAS. So let's go ahead, go in, log in uh, to the NAS. Oh, I've got to enter the password, of course. Sorry, forgot about that. Enter the password. Unsurprisingly, we're just going to go with the word password on this one. It logs us in, it's saying there's no paired folders. We click the plus at the bottom. We select a folder on this phone. So in the case of this phone, I'm gonna go straight into DCIM, which is uh, the default Google one. I'm gonna go into camera, and there we go, boom. That's the album that all of the photos from my phone are on. Next, I'm gonna select an album on the NAS. So in the case of the NAS, we're gonna go into multimedia. I'm gonna go into pictures. We've got that there. I'm gonna create a new folder and call it phone image backup created that new folder on the NAS click OK next we can say what kind of sync we want do we want it to be um, if there's subfolders we're not going to worry about subfolders and we're going to make this be a one-way sync from my phone to the NAS so that means this is going to be a one-way sync at all times but again if you want to make sure you've got the photos in both locations at all times and all updates are noted you can go for a two-way sync but for me one way upload from the device click apply that's the paired folders click next we can talk about how often we want this to run do we want it on charge only wi-fi only etc i'm going to click done warning me that that's going to use up more power and then straight away we're now synchronizing that folder and the NAS so in the case right now while this app is running that NAS is now backing up the contents of my photo album straight away nice and easy if we manage the paired folders we can see it there if we go with the background task we can see all of those images being backed up so while it does that if we click the home button and we go into Q file and the network is probably going to be quite busy from this phone. But if we want, we can go into that NAS. Let's scan the local area network and find the NAS. We go down to multimedia. We can go into pictures. We can go for phone image backup, spelt wrong, I just realized. And as you can see, all of those pictures are being backed up right now in real time. We can go in and thumbnails will start to be generated soon. There's all the photos that I've been uh, doing recently. All of them being backed up in real time to the NAS. 
go back to QSync, we'll just leave it to do its job there in the background. It's that straightforward to create that task. And once it's ran for the first time, we can then start looking at some of those available offline options. We can configure, or at a moment's notice, if we choose, we can go to the paired folders and we can pause that sync if we like. We can edit that synchronization if we choose. And of course, we can unpair those folders if we like. And again, we can choose whether to keep the files or delete the files if we so choose. But this has been QSync Pro for mobile and QNAP now. It's a decent little app there. Couple of little things I'd like to change on it, but nothing too broad. And I've got to say, this is the closest app we've ever seen to dethroning Synology Drive uh, Mobile from the top of the file management list. But if you guys have got a QNAP, this is definitely a must have. And otherwise, I do think this is something worthy of your time. Thank you so much for watching. Click like if you've enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you want to learn more. And I will see you next time.